Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss a very important concept of vector components. So stay tuned till end so that at the end of lecture you should have the clear concepts that what are vector components or you can say the components of the vector. We will start with the definition of the vector that as we know that vector is defined by two things. One is the magnitude that is the value of the vector and the other is the direction. So these two things are very important in order to define the vector. But there is another way to define the vectors that is in term of its components, components of the vector. So the components of these vectors are basically uh, is another way of the is another way of representing the vectors. It split the vectors into two parts. If I write here, components split the vector into two parts. That is change in x and change in y. Now what does it mean? Let's draw a vector so that you can easily understand its concept. So in a coordinate system, let's say this is our coordinate system. And if I draw a vector, it will be represented by an arrow like this. This is a line that is having a magnitude. If I represent it like this, A is a vector and it is, so this is a vector and it is represented by a magnitude and it is also having a direction that is an angle that it is making. So I have already told you that one way of representing a vector is by using its magnitude and direction. But there is another way that is in terms of its components. So we can break this vector into its components. So what are those components that that is how many units that vector is moving on the x axis. It is represented by Ax and how many units this is this vector is moving in the upward direction or in the y direction. So these are the two things that will be used that will be used in component form to make up the vector. So if we break the, the vector into components, we can also use the components to make the vector. So it means we can construct a vector from its components and we can also construct the components from the vector. So if we know any one of these things, we can easily uh, uh, find the other. So if I say that, if I write its representation, it can be represented as, if I say we have a vector A, in component form, we can write it as Ax and a y. So these are the components of the vector a. Now what does it mean by a x and a y? Basically the this is if I say this represents a change in x and this represents a change in y. So the this is the basically component form of the vector. This is the component form. Now keep this in mind that this form is different from as we usually write the coordinates as 2 comma 3 it means 2 represents x and 3 represents y but it is not here so you cannot say that this is x no you cannot say that this is the value of y in the coordinate axis no this is not so these are the change in x and change in y values so i can also say that i can break the vector if i say i have a vector like this if i convert it into the component form what I will get, I will get this and this. It means this vector is also changing its direction in the x-axis as well in, as in the y-axis. And in order to get that values, we convert this vector into the component form so that we can have the idea how much it is changing in x, in x direction and how much it is changing in the y direction. So from here, we have to develop or we have to find the formulas if so that we can use those formulas to find the vector components whenever we will be asked or we will given with a vector and will be asked to find their components we can find that so the for that purpose we will use we will make use of the trig trigonometric ratios so here we will have we have the trigonometric ratio that is cos theta cos theta is basically equals to we will why we will use the trigonometric ratios because we have a right triangle here and we are going to find ax and ay for that we have to consider a right triangle and for right triangle we use the trigonometric ratios 
that is equals to cos theta is equals to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. So here the adjacent side is AX divided by hypotenuse is the magnitude of the vector. So if we further adjust it uh, to get AX, what it will be? It will be AX is equals to magnitude of A because this ha have to move here into cos theta. So this is the formula for finding the x component of any vector. Similarly, we have to find the y component as well. For that purpose, we will use the trigonometric ratio of sin theta in which we have opposite side divided by hypotenuse and here the opposite side is, opposite side of angle theta is Ay divided by the hypotenuse is the magnitude of the vector this. So what we will get is Ay is equals to magnitude of the y as we have to move it here into sin theta. So this is the formula for finding the y component of a vector. So it means whenever you are given with a vector you just need to find the um, magnitude of the vector and multiply it with the cos theta and the sin theta to get the x and y components respectively. So let's have a short example so that you can easily understand this concept further. Say we have a question with the vector we have a vector f that is of 5 units that is the magnitude is 5 units and its direction is 60 degree with the horizontal so how we can find its components so it is very easy you just need to use the formulas that for x component for x component you have to do what you have to find the magnitude or you if you don't have but we have the magnitude here into cos theta that is theta is 60 degree it's just I have to put the values at, at as the magnitude of f is 5 cos of 60 is 1 by 2 so 5 by 2 is 2.5 so the x component is 2.5 units and what about the y components simply we have to multiply it with the sine theta the magnitude so we have 5 into sine of 30 sine of 60 degree is 5 multiplied by under root 3 by 2 so it will be 5 under root 3 by 2 you can further simplify it so this is how you can find the components of a vector if you are given with a vector and its magnitude and uh, the direction and by you just using the formulas you can easily find the vector components so components of vectors adjust the breakdown of a vector into uh, it's uh, into two parts one is the change in x and the other is change in y so that's all from today's lecture thank you